Here at Rancho Solano, we really pride ourselves on that we're a small school. We have small classes. Our teachers are very engaged with our students. We oftentimes talk about that, that one of the most important things is that if you're a student here, you really can't hide. Everything is brought right out in the classroom and our teachers are very engaged with our students at all times, right? Yes, our ratio is 18 to one. Most of the classes have that ratio or less. And what it allows for is a very strong and deep relationship between the teacher and the students. The community here is something that cannot be overstated. The amount of time that I get to spend with my students one-on-one -on -one is unparalleled by any other school. So as a robotics teacher, I love being able to have that time with each of my individual students. None of them is just like a number on a roster. Each of my students, I care about their success and I know all of my colleagues also have the same approach to their students. Since I'm a senior, I'll be going to college next year. I'm hoping to go to college in California and pursue a medical career soon. So I think because I'm in the IB Diploma, uh, Ranch has really set me up for being a critical thinker and going beyond what is expected in the classroom. Within the arts, we really do build on foundational skill sets, especially at the middle school level, but always bringing in self-expression and really empowering students to express themselves, express their individuality, their ideas, while still learning about different artists and different cultures within those specific classes. And depending on the class will depend on obviously the materials and the ideas that we explore, but things are very geared towards student interest. When they're learning instruments, Private practice at home is really the learning part. School is, I, I have so much time just to get information across to them, so um, I have to choose different approaches because every kid learns differently, especially with music. I have to sometimes be so flexible as to, in 10 minutes, do three or four different approaches to get everyone on one accord. And it may sound tedious, but it's actually, it's actually enjoyable. So my mom found a job in China and this school just happened to have a dorm, uh, dorm program and she looked at the school and she really liked it so and of course I liked it too so uh, we decided on Rancho. I like the international dorm program because you get to meet people from all around the world and it's, it's fun because uh, there's diversity and you get to hang out with people you might not uh, be able to see every day. We really put an emphasis on having true scholar athletes and we're really proud of the number of athletes that we have that are a part of all academic teams as well as making all conference level teams where they really demonstrate the success that they have uh, as athletes but also the fact that they're committed to their academics as well is something that we're really, really proud of. It's been really good. I started last year and everybody here is very friendly and I like how they can work around uh, other things that you have outside of school. Uh, for instance, I do softball, which I'm glad that they understand that different students have things outside of school. We have a middle school program and then we have the upper school program. They are introduced to ballet, jazz, modern, and lyrical when they begin. And that is not just technique, they get terminology, they get history, they dive deep into all of that. And then as they move up, in the program, they are introduced to higher level contemporary and performance-based elements, choreography, construction, and all of that. And then at the end of every semester, we come together to do a dance concert. They do a huge finale number that includes all five dance classes, so it's a chance for them to just have fun and celebrate everything that they learned throughout the semester. Literary magazine Pegasus, I started here four years ago. Um, it's an award-winning publication. Last year, it actually received the highest award uh, for literary magazines on a national scale. It contains student artwork, poetry, short stories, essays, and it is really uh, quite a masterpiece. Uh, student editors make all the decisions about what gets published and uh, what doesn't and we also encourage students to try again if their work isn't published the first time. I try hard to really establish those kind of relationships so that kids do feel like if, if and when they ever need me that uh, they're comfortable uh, coming and seeing me. I always make it clear, approach me for anything. It could range from schedule changes to you know stress and anxiety. 
I am student government treasurer as well as a member of NHS, so I try to get really involved in the school, which is made super easy uh, due to the, all, all of the opportunities. Um, my favorite classes so far have been all of like the biological sciences, such as anatomy and physiology, or biology, as I'm now in IB biology and chemistry. So one of the things I really like is the uh, the minds of the students. They they just have a spirit of inquiry about them. Obviously, young minds are always curious, right? Um, but it's nice to be able to direct them in the uh, in in the ways of science here. I'm very passionate about what I do, and I can um, model that for students. What, whether it's science, I tell them in their future, or something else, I think it's important to be passionate about what you do. And I see that fueled here in this small classroom environment. My role is Director of College Counseling. I oversee all of academic advising, so for middle school and for the upper school. Um, I help students get to college. So starting really eighth grade, we start the academic advising process, and then from there, we start the college process. So we, I meet with students in ninth grade, tenth grade, eleventh grade, and twelfth grade. So really everything from college planning through the college application process. I have a senior here at Rancho, and, you know, forgive me if I start crying because every time I think about it, 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 it tears me up. But I feel like being here at Rancho has really opened up not just her abilities, but it's her opportunities. She came with a lot of great skills, but I think what Rancho has done is to give her confidence and then let her develop on her own. And um, I, I just can't thank Rancho enough for that. You know, my favorite thing about Rancho, and I'll say it all the time, is, is the community, but specifically, I think we have just great kids. And the thing that I am always most impressed with with our kids is how accepting they are of everybody uh, around them. Um, we have students from lots of different backgrounds and lots of different situations, and the fact that they all seem to get along really well together and they'll embrace somebody new that may be from a different background so quickly, and they're just quick to really accept and appreciate people for who they are, I think that really is unique nowadays and, and it really gives Rancho its community feel.